Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is iOS 14, and I believe this is the biggest change since the original iPhone OS, aka iOS 1. I'm just gonna be going over some of the features, some of the things that stick out to me. I'm pretty sure there's some hidden features that I might miss, but for the most part, these are some of the things I know. Now, before I even showcase some of the features, let me know down in the comments down below, do you guys prefer the online keynotes where it's just online only, or do you guys prefer a a classic presentation with a crowd and audience. I gotta say this one here wasn't too shabby. I appreciate the animations. I gotta say this presentation was clean. It was straight to the point, no fillers. The animations were clean. I just love it. The first things first, Apple has redesigned the widgets panel. So everything is completely different. And the best thing too about these widgets, you can actually put them on your home screen. Now this is how it works. I just press and hold on the empty space I tap on the add, the plus on the top left. If I can tap that. And now look, you're gonna have all your widgets there. So you have your music. So let's say for example, I wanna put my music here. You can go through some of the widgets. You have your recently played and you have a design that you could pick. So you have uh, this widget size, you have this widget size and you have just this. And yeah, this is just like insane. I never thought I never thought that Apple would actually add widgets. Like, wow. I was like, when I saw the trailer, I was like, man, Apple did it. So this is real iOS, no jailbreak, nothing like that. And yet, so you can add in widgets, but what's crazy is you can't do this on the iPad. You can't put it on the home screen. It's only gonna be on the home screen on the side. I can add in a smart stack. So a smart stack is gonna allow you to uh, automatically rotate between your widgets. So. You can put in the um, the weather, then you can add in a a whatever. You get what I'm saying? So this is insane. Look at this, guys. You guys see what I'm seeing? I have my weather widgets, I have my photo widgets, my calendar widgets right there on the top. And then this is even better because now if you have a Pro Max, you could use this with one hand because technically it's like reachability. So I have all my icons right here on the top. I have 89 messages. We're going to talk about the messages in a little bit. Um, but anyway, look at the widgets guys. This is definitely making use of the 11 Pro Max display. So yeah, so this is really cool. I'm definitely going to customize this. I'll make a follow-up video going over iOS uh, 14. On the iPad, it's super duper buggy. I'm thinking about switching back to iOS 13 as soon as possible. I didn't stumble across no bugs yet on the iPhone version, but I'm pretty sure there's some bugs. This is the first beta here. Um, and of course, with the widgets, you can tap on it to launch it up, and it's automatically going to take you to that album that you last played. And of course, if you tap on hold it, you can remove the widget, and you can head to your home screen. You can customize your stacks, and I'm pretty sure developers are going to come up with amazing ideas to give us some handy widgets. Now, another thing that's new is app library. So you can simplify your home screen. So normally, you have a lot of apps. Sometimes the first page is your most, your first two pages is actually is your most important apps, but then you also have like the 10th page, you have the eighth page, and then this is where uh, app library comes in. So I just activated by going into the last page and you can see everything is simplified. So you have your suggestions, which is your apps that you mostly use. You have your recently added. So this is apps that you downloaded recently in the app store. You have your social medias. So everything is categorized into folders already entertainment right there so i have youtube apple music soundcloud now there's a quicker way of getting there if i go into wiggle mode and i tap on the page icon dots you can basically can actually remove any pages so you have so many app icons and so many pages to go through you can simplify it by removing some pages and you're gonna be good to go so now i only have two icon pages and that's it and i can always go back and I could add them back again. And of course, you can even search them up on Spotlight if you can't find an app. So yeah, so I, I like this simplicity that Apple went with this. So it's just keeping your phone clutter-free. You finally have picture-in-picture -picture on iPhone. It was always available since iOS 9 on iPad, but Apple has finally gave us picture-in-picture -picture on iOS 14. So I'm watching a video, shout out to the homie Siobhan. I can activate picture-in-picture -picture by clicking on or tapping on the icon on the top left. And it's going to just pop it into a picture and I could do something else in the background while I'm playing that video. What's going on, guys? So, boom. So while I'm interacting, I could go on Instagram. Let me load this down a little bit. And boom. And the games, is we play the waiting game. 
Oh, my boy Floss, my boy Floss about to download this. Yeah, this is about to be lit. All right, anyway, so you guys get the idea. I have picture and picture going on, and you can resize it by pinching, and you can even hide it too, just like on the iPad. Sadly, we don't have split screen multitasking just yet. Maybe we gotta wait for iOS 15 for that, but this is a this is definitely a great step. And yeah, bravo to Apple for finally added in picture and picture. That that's a big deal. Finally, Apple has a translator. Now, the best thing about this translate app, it does not need Wi-Fi in order to translate. And oh, we got we got to download the language first. Hold on. So I want to download Spanish. So all right. So let's say I turn off my Wi-Fi. Everything is off. Hi. Subscribe to Simply Pops today. Okay. And it's automatically translating it without, well, I got my, my LTE on. Let me, let me do that again. Okay. It can't work without, <laughs> it, needs, it needs connection. Anyway, uh, well, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> All right. I thought it was supposed to be using the Nora engine, but I think they said that for the dictation too. Let me turn off everything again and use it for dictation. Testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so right now it's doing everything using the Nora Engine chip. And yeah, it's nothing, there's nothing, no internet going like that. But yeah, that's really cool though. I mean, the fact that Apple is doing all that with no connection whatsoever, that's pretty interesting. And speaking of going into the control center, first thing first, I realized the home kit's accessories are finally separate. So you no longer have to go into the home app or go into the home platter and then tap on your accessories. You have all your accessories right here on the fly. So I could turn off the desk light so you guys can see that makes a huge difference actually. And I could turn on this light, I could play music on my home pod. So yeah, very quick access. I can even turn on my fan if I want to. So that's a pretty big feature for me. It's very, very quickly, but I normally use my Apple Watch anyway, but hey, this is a welcome change anyway. Now another big change is Siri. So Siri got a total redesign. So it's no longer going to take up the entire screen no longer. And I got to say, look, it is, it's going to give you a splash page right here. So you have silent mode. Siri can answer quietly when your phone is muted. So you have that silent mode and you just got that redesign. So you guys can see this is Siri right here. This is it. And you can still see the content right here. Now you can't interact with your device. It's going to De definitely like get rid of it right away but um for the most part this is definitely a welcome change what time is it you got that flashy animation there okay what time is it there he goes right there on the top what's the weather who is barack obama When did the first iPhone release? Okay, you still have the Apple.com stuff, but for the most part, I absolutely love that UI change. All right, so you guys see that? FaceTime video, you now have a small notification banner, and you can still interact with your device. So I can still go on Instagram, I can see what's what while I'm still getting that phone call on the top. So this is a big deal. Everybody's gonna love this feature. And of course, if I wanna answer it, I could tap on answer and I could do it again. Now, I'm gonna hang that up right away. Now, honestly, I wish it was like a little banner still with the FaceTime camera, but hey, that's still definitely a welcome change, I must say. Now, messages did got a nice little overhaul. Um, there's a lot of features I can't really show you guys just because this is my personal iPhone. All right, so bear with me, guys. I'm showing my messages app and I don't wanna show you guys the whole thing. So I could slide my finger and pin a conversation and it's still gonna be ending up on the top. I like that, but I can't really show you guys. I got a lot of crazy stuff going on in my iMessage. So yeah, bear with me with that. But you have new Memojis, accessories, more impressions. You have inline replies, which basically you could focus on one-on-one -on -one conversation with that one person in a group message. So basically, if you wanna talk to one person, not everybody else, you could talk to that one person in that group chat without you know, like it's gonna make things easier. Um, also, you can mention, so you can mention somebody 
All right, so I'm in a group chat here. Shout out to the homie Carlos. I typed in Carlos' name, and what if I type in his name? Look, his little me emoji comes up. I could tap his name, and then I could say, "Yo, how's <laughs> oh, how's the Last of Us two? How's the Last of Us two? If you guys play The Last of Us, let me know down in the comments down below. How's the gameplay? Is it worth it? I didn't pick it up, but yeah, so let me just send that message. And yeah, nobody has iOS 14 unless you're a YouTuber or something like that. But And with the map, you got cycling directions. You have, uh, you know, different routes. So you, you know, it, the maps was a pretty big deal too. And of course, you have this new wallpaper. And even with the car play, you have wallpaper options. I'm actually going to do a separate video talking about CarPlay because that, that definitely does deserve a separate video because we have um, Apple Car Keys to involve. Then we have the App Store with App Clips. That might be the QR code killer. Basically, you have a QR light code and it's just going to download a portion of that app in order for you to, to use it. So that's pretty cool. I think Apple is just trying to take on with the QR code stuff. Um, but for the most part, that's iOS 14 in a nutshell. Like I said, I'm probably missing some features, but you got to go to Reddit and you got to wait until people use iOS 14 to really discover some new features. But overall, first impressions, this is definitely a great step. Just like last year, we got dark mode, we got a lot of features. Apple completely nailed iOS 13 in terms of features. We even had mouse support too on the iPad. So I feel like this here is a, another great change. So yeah, that's basically it. This is iOS 14 in a nutshell. Let me know down in the comments down below. Your feedback is always appreciated. I'm curious to know what you guys think. And drop a like on this video. Help me out a bunch. And subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Other than that, your boy Pops. And I hope you guys have a simple day. Peace out.